Hello, HUD House Hunters. It's Donnie Corm with Caldwell Springs ForeclosureDeals.com. Well, guys, we're going to bring you an amazing property today. Quite often when people move into Colorado Springs, the Colorado area in general, actually, they're looking for wide open spaces, great views of the mountains, and acreage. Well, being real with you, acreage in this part of the country is very, very expensive. And although this is no exception, I can tell you that it's very rare that you find a foreclosure priced in this price range that gives you five acres of horse zone property, like the property we're at today. So let's get to it. We're at 20212 West Thunder Road. Now this property is located at the very north tip of El Paso County in Colorado Springs, basically right on County Line Road. Just across County Line Road, you're in Douglas County to give you an idea on where this house is located. So very north end of town. Now, some of us consider this the Black Forest area. Others would call this King's Deer, but just to give you some perception here, you're definitely in the north part of the town. This home features four bedrooms, three baths, a two-car garage and about 2,600 square feet of living space, but perhaps its most compelling feature is the five acres of horse available property that's around. I want you to see this real quick. Take a look at the wide open spaces. If you're looking for the Colorado lifestyle and you don't mind a slight commute or maybe you work from home or maybe it just doesn't bother you, this would be a perfect place to live. It just take in all that peaceful serenity, all the outdoors this house has to offer. Now, Thunder Road was built in 1997. It's a custom one-off home, meaning that this was built by somebody who bought the land, then commissioned a builder to build the house for them. Okay, so the, uh, some of the floor plan is a little bit different because of that, because this is a custom home, but I think you'll really like it. We're starting in here in the main great room here, and as you can see here, it starts in with some tile, and then this would be sort of your living room space. We'll call this the formal living room. Now, guys, I didn't get to a price on this home. I usually save that for last, but I want to point out that around you, you're surrounded by homes that range anywhere from three fifty dollars to $400,000. This is neither of those, but that's what makes this such a powerful deal, okay? I'm going to leave you waiting for the price, as always. So here we are in the uh, main foyer area. We walk this direction to head into the kitchen. As you can see, the kitchen's actually a pretty good size. It's got tile cabinet countertops, excuse me, nice tile floor that matches, and the cabinets are actually in pretty good shape. Not a whole lot to do with the kitchen except add your own appliances. It's already got some stainless steel features, so your best bet would be some stainless steel cat excuse me, appliances to go with that. Here we are in the dining room area, and the dining room is a pretty good size. This would be, if you will, your informal dining. You set down your breakfast table. That's where you would set that up. And then off to the side, you've got a beautiful view out onto the deck. Again, I'm going to keep you waiting a little bit for the backyard, but I do want you to see this deck is a great place to set down your patio furniture, and it's right off of the dining room, so it'll provide a great place to eat outdoors or indoors because they are right next to each other and, of course, right next to the kitchen, so that's pretty sweet. We head this direction to go into the, let's call it the informal living room, if you will, okay? So, this would be where you'd set down your additional couches and furniture and kind of just hang out in the family room, if you will. I love the fireplace feature they put in here. And speaking of fireplaces, this property has three of them, so that's pretty rare. If you're big on fireplaces, this is the house. This one is a gas fireplace, but the one in the upper level that we just saw is a wood-burning fireplace. So you do have some options with that. So again, getting into the big great room here, you set your TV in back over there. And all of that's uh, pretty much good to go. Nice built-in shelf unit, very nicely done, very professional looking. So a lot of nice features on this home. From here, we're going to head on down to the basement, which is completely finished out, adding to the total of 2,700 square foot of living space. But on the way, I want you to see this half bath, kind of your guest bath, if you will, and a laundry room all the way off to the back there. All right, let's head on to the basement here. Um, Basement is finished out and it's a walkout basement. So as we head down the stairs here, you'll notice it's very bright, it's very open. Well, that's because that's how the lot is laid out. It's laid out in such a way that the basement's walking out onto the floor there. So here you are in the basement, all tile floors. They did a baseboard heating down here. You've got a three-quarter bath on the basement level here. and one bedroom, so this is a perfect layout for if you have guests come into town who also want to enjoy the wide open spaces of Colorado. Problem is, is once they come out, guys, they tend not to leave, so don't make them too comfortable. But here you are, tons of space here to set down your guest room furniture. It's got a nice closet, and of course it has its own bathroom down here, which is very nice for entertaining and keeping guests over. 
We continue out here to find some unfinished space that they did primarily for storage here. But I will tell you, there's enough space that you could comfortably finish out this area and add a second bedroom or just increase the size of this and make this a den. Tons of options and enough equity in this property to make any modifications they need to make to it, including some basic updating, well worth it. Trust me, guys, when we get to the price on this thing, you're going to be shocked at how little this house is going for. So here we are um, in another area. This looks like they were kind of doing another laundry room. So interestingly enough, you might put a second washer and dryer down here if you wanted to. I think that's probably an option. You definitely have the plumbing for it. Let's head on upstairs. I want to check out the bedrooms, okay? We're heading upstairs in Thunder Road, and um, this house, again, very spacious, 2,700 square feet, but I do like the way it's laid out. you got three bedrooms up here. One really cool luxury feature is right here. It's got an internal vacuum system, so you plug in your little hoses there, and uh, just like that, you've got a vacuum cleaner all over. You just run the hose to the various rooms. That's a really nice feature. Let's start with this bedroom here. Pretty good size. Nice high ceilings and generally pretty well maintained, guys. Now, this was built in 97, so a little paint and some general updating would go a long way here. But there's nothing in here that has to be done, guys. It's just a matter of updating this to bring it up to today's modern standards. And again, the equity spread on this makes it well worth it. I do like what they did with the, the trim. It's a very nice trim job. They use a nice thick base trim. This is bedroom number two on the upper level, about the same size as bedroom number one. Uh, plenty of sp square footage in here, nice bright open windows. You can really appreciate the wide open spaces from the rooms with the shutters open. And they put in some nice wood blinds, which I think would be a good idea to keep those. Nice closet space over there. And uh, just in general, a ton of space up here. We got the uh, secondary bathroom here. And it's gonna be dark, so I'm gonna stay out here so you can see it. But uh, nice countertop for Micah there. Uh, tile job around the shower. Everything looks to be pretty clean, pretty sh good shape, pretty much ready to go with some minor cosmetic upgrades. Finally, we have the master. Now, the master, that is a couple of different things here. You've got this wide open space here, which would be a good place to set down your bed and perhaps chest of drawers, if you will. And then they did an upper loft that you have to walk up to. So from here, this could be a good sitting area, or if you work from home, you might put your home office right here. Um, it's just off of the master, so it's separated out, but it still provides a nice, excellent amount of space, increasing the size of the master bedroom and making this just all the more spacious of a master suite for you. And then we continue this direction into the bathroom. Um, this is where I think some of the datedness stands out for me. I mean, it did a lot of brass fixtures, but again, that's what was in in 97. So just a matter of updating this. Nothing beyond the cosmetic, though, guys. Doesn't need a ton of repair. We just need to modernize that shower, perhaps, put that into updated fixtures and things like that, maybe touch up the paint. Again, nothing you can't live with, and at this price, you can't live without picking up a deal like this one. We're going to talk about that when I show you the huge backyard that's sitting on five acres of land. Come along. Let's wrap this thing up. All right, I promise you a great backyard on Thunder Road, and I will deliver. Guys, what you're looking at right now is as much as the camera can capture of five acres of land that comes with this property. Very often I'm asked for, you know, horse zoning capabilities, things like that. If you are truly the outdoorsy type, you'll see there you have a stall um, that comes with the property there that you can actually board horses on this. This is officially zoned for horses. So if you're looking to get out into the country, the Thunder Road property could be for you. But we're not done. Look at all this land. Part of it is fenced in, which is great for the kids or for the dogs. So they don't get too far. But look at all the wide open spaces that comes with the Thunder Road property. That's the kind of thing you're only going to find on Colorado property. And you're very rarely going to find in a HUD foreclosure. Because to be honest, you just don't find a lot of five acre parcels on HUD foreclosures. So let's get to this. Thunder Road, 20212 West Thunder Road is just off the county line road in the north part of Colorado Springs. It features four bedrooms, three baths, three fireplaces, a two car garage, about 2,700 square foot of living space and five acres of land under this property. Guys, we looked around to see what stuff was selling for. I couldn't find a comparable for under 340 in the neighborhood, okay? This house is listed at HUD at 278. Now, in and of itself, that means this has about 50 to $60,000 worth of equity, but I'm gonna unleash my secret weapon on you here. There's a special bidding process for HUD homes at higher end range. You see, HUD is also not used to dealing with properties in this range. They typically work off of entry level home buyers. That's why most of the videos we give you guys are entry level homes. When they get a high end home like this, their motivation to move this property 
goes up a little bit. The competition does too, but I'm sharing all that with you because I've got a bidding process that will get this home substantially cheaper than it already is, and it already is an amazing deal. So how do you get involved? Well, it's real simple. Head out to ColoradoSpringsForeclosureDeals.com. We are still the leading resource for finding foreclosure deals in, around, and north of the Colorado Springs area like the Thunder Road property. You gotta register online, guys, because when you're registered, you'll get instant updates of properties right as they hit the market, so you can find the best deals on properties like Thunder Road right as they hit the market. I know your number crunchers are going nuts, but do the math on this. You could actually own this home complete with five acres for right around the $1,400 to $1,500 a month mark, okay? That's a pretty sweet deal when you consider the amount of land and the amount of house that you're picking up, not to mention the sixty, dollars maybe $70,000 worth of potential equity in this home. But these kind of deals do not last long. With my bidding system, I know I can get you a great deal on this home. So give me a call if you want to see the Thunder Road property. Register online to stay tuned with the updates as they come out. And remember, we're going to be starting the Rockin' Real Estate Agent Radio Show this February, coming to 105.5 FM, 1240 AM, where you'll be able to listen to me talk about the best deals in real estate and learn more about how to get involved in this awesome real estate market. With that, guys, this is Donnie Corum with Colorado Springs Foreclosure Deals.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one.